But let's 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 pivot slightly to that because one of the things that has really come out over the course of the past week since that shooting, and I guess that was I don't know twenty mass shootings ago now mm-hmm. uh, that took place um, in uh, Texas was a an increase in the skepticism of or well, particularly the police story coming out of uh, Evalde, but but broadly speaking, there there seems to be sort of an opportunity to question, like, maybe the way that the media and society looks at the police is wrong in a way that mm-hmm. maybe the people who are talking about reallocating funds or defunding the police were correct. Um, mm-hmm. How how durable do you think that sense will be or will make any difference? Uh, it's it's really hard to say um i i i it should in a in a a, we you know we don't live in a sane world we don't live in a rational world but in 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 a world that was at least roughly logical it would this would be a complete reordering of particularly the news media's relationship with the police um i think we have have seen at basically every step of the way um that the the police have been dissembling and untrustworthy and that when when faced with national scrutiny um their story fell apart and they have retreated to not cooperating with investigations and and not allowing the media uh to to try to continue to investigate um and so in that world you know you can say like this is a department again and yeah i, I i'm sure you've been over this but this is a place where everything the the sort of pro police people wanted to happen happened. The police department was not defunded. The schools had uh, all of the security spending, all of the extra police spending that they could want for security, and, and you know we know how that ended up. So um, I would, I would, I wish that uh, what would happen now is that our the left of center party would say it's time to rethink this not you know not even to get on board the defund the police campaign but to say um like obviously uh the easy availability of incredibly dangerous firearms is the problem here and we can spend an infinite amount of money on police and spending an infinite amount of an infinite amount of money on police has diminishing returns it can't prevent this um unfortunately what i think is going to happen is that they already got their ad buys in about how they, much they love the police and how they were going to fund the police. And, and they're just going to sort of sidestep the issue. And we're just going to have a, a sort of midterm, a summer midterm campaign about how much Democrats love, love and respect the police uh, while not, you know, while, while sort of ignoring what I think is a very, very real national uh feeling that um we have to do things differently well they're they're i mean and the cops from the cops perspective they're just waiting this out right now i mean we there's that tracker of how many times they've lied but they want the national news media which is camped in uvalde but probably decreasingly so to leave town after a few weeks and yeah. they'll they feel like the scrutiny will be gone and then things will be back to normal because naturally, I mean, I don't live in Texas, but my sense from reading about this is it's it, it, Abbott and Republican rule there has created a very cozy environment for them. So as long as this kind of dies away, they'll be able to sidestep this. And the Biden administration is too weak and feckless to call attention to this massive cover up that's happening right now. And I feel like I'm taking crazy pills because we don't know what they're covering up, but they're covering up something. And I, I mean, at the very least, we uh, the we owe it to those children and their families who were massacred to understand what happened. Yeah, I, I, I think we're seeing just how I, I, I think we're seeing the sort of weird cul-de-sacs you go down when you get as timid as and and as popularists you know uh, uh popularism pilled as this administration is uh because i think 
as a parent, uh, every parent in the country, or at least the sane ones, uh, would have welcomed the White House saying, we're sending the feds in to investigate this this police department. We are sending the feds in immediately yeah. to figure out what the hell went on down there. Like, we're not going to let these cops uh, try to blame someone else for what happened to those kids. I think that's an easy political winner. Um, be, because this administration and its political team is have become wedded to the idea that it must never be come across as anti-police, their first response was, we'll let them handle the investigation. And I don't trust Texas authorities to investigate Texas police departments. I just and don't even trust with them. the DOJ investigation, right? It was, it, it's not really about the nature of it, honestly. I mean, it is partly, but part of it's what's frustrating to me is the complete unwillingness by Biden to say a thing about what we all understand, which is that something really fishy is going on here. And, you know, if you had like political sense of trying to build something for the future where like something has to give with the funding that we provide for police and the way the policing is structured in this country, this would be an excellent opportunity to give the American people an insight into how cops are liars and they're often yeah. incompetent and giving them money like this does nothing. And there's real blood on their hands here for, it seems potentially. Yeah, no, I'm, I completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is amazing how much the good policy aligns with what would be good politics and the Democrats seem to studiously avoid taking that route. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, it, 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 we, we just kind of see, keep seeing this over and over again after issue after issue. Um, and I don't know, you know, you, you, you had a piece, what do cops do uh, in the, the real AP? Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it really does, uh, I think, make a, a very good argument that maybe, maybe, Maybe what we should do is focus on quality instead of quantity of cops. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe we could cut our police forces down by, I don't know, 50% and give 50% more training to the 50% that are there and then have them have a, you know, a smaller portfolio. It just as like a first step to see if maybe, you know, because the bottom line is, and then, you know, and then you could also tie in the guns issue is that these guys were afraid at the very least. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's quite, and, and, you know, I don't really blame them. Uh, and yeah. maybe a lot of them don't deserve, you know, don't, are not the people you want. And, it, you know, we had this problem in, uh, at one point in the Iraq war, we had run out of people who wanted to be in the army or the, in mm -hmm. the military. And they started mm -hmm. to, I can't remember the specifics of it now, but I do remember that we had, we did one, you know, sort of, fake call, uh, uh, a fake interview on, on the old majority report during those years where we interviewed, um, uh, a buddy of mine who was a comedian who was advocating for 80 year olds to be allowed to, uh, re-sign up in the military, um, mm -hmm. because we needed uh, more people and Iraq is really hot and you hear, uh, older people complain about the lack of heat <laughs> and this is all just going to tie right in and it would save on Medicaid and it's just Medicare. Like, it's just like, uh, just like, you know, spending winter in, in Arizona, right? Exactly. Just it's goes, like goes, instead yeah. of Arizona, Iraq, and, <laughs> but you don't have the same Medicare liabilities. And, 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 and so, um, but on some level, like, you know, it's not, there's not like an endless supply of people who should be carrying a gun and a weapon and, uh, you know, a Kevlar vest around who are like, oh, yeah, yeah no, they'll be fine. I mean, you know, yeah. at one point when you start expanding these police departments, you really may be signing people up who... They're not sending their best. Yeah, exactly. No. 